No, in the words of Gucci, put that in the dirt, nigga. For sure, you did. Here we go, Let's go. Take a toast. Read between the lines, ain't a song. I'm the one that shadow boy act like you don't know. Don't come. Yeah. All right, so look, man. Man, this dude yellow beezy. Yellow beezy. I got speaks like an old lady. This dude been getting away with these lies for the last week or so, because I have. Till this day, I still haven't finished watching that Say Cheese interview, right? Not even the first one. I'm not even talking about the one with uh, Charleston White, but the very first one. I still haven't even finished that one. I mean, this dude been talking about Mo3 for like the total of eight hours in the last two weeks. It's crazy. I can't even keep up, folks. Over there trying to get views off that dude's name. Get Mo3 name out that title. You ain't slick, Sean Cotton. Over there lying like that. This the last time we're gonna talk about Mo3. This is the end of the Yellow Busy and Mo3 chapter. Then a week later, got a whole nother podcast with Charleston White talking about this dude for three hours again. You know, daggone well you ain't gonna get no views interviewing no Yellow Busy if you ain't talking about Mo3. Type Mo3 name out that title. Got Mo3 over there giving this dude some views. How you got Mo3 doing charity work from the grave, fool? Where Mo3 people at? Hey, use this as a tax write off, fool. Giving back to the community. Helping struggling rappers get views. Should be a tax write off or something. Put it on the Mo3 Foundation. But nah, man. The bad news, I still haven't watched the interview. But the good news, Sean Cotton and Trick. This dude re uploaded the uh, interview, trying to name it something else. So I clicked it thinking it was a different interview. Exact same interview, nothing new. But it is new to me because, again, I still haven't watched the interview. But now since I've watched about 10 or 15 minutes or so of it, this dude, Yellow Beezy, done got me mad again, fool. Over the line don't say cheese like that. Let me tell y'all the real story. He trying to make it seem like he don't know why uh, Mo3 was mad at him. And it has to do with that pick six song. First of all, no disrespect to anybody on that pick six song, right? Or whatever it's called. Matter of fact, let me look up this video real quick. Give me a second. Bam. The video dropped in November of 2017. It has six artists on it and only has five million views. Cut it out. This what Mo3 supposed to be mad about? Man, that dude was getting more views than that on his own way back then. You ain't see what happened to the last security guards, folks? Y'all won't stop lying on this dude. Why would he be mad about that song? When he also dropped and I in 2017. And that video has 24 million views. Now Mo3 by himself, right? He beat him up. He had 24 million views on his music video in 2017. But he's supposed to be mad and jealous that y'all didn't let him on pick six. Fam, he got more views than all of y'all put together. Y'all gotta stop lying, man. That dude won't jealous of y'all. You know why he was mad, fool. If you wanna be real, let's be real. This the real truth. Mo3 went to Fort Worth to perform that night. He almost lost his life. After getting into it with Goyeo and all them people, right? He had to shoot his way out the club and everything. They literally tried to kill him. And Yalabeezy homeboy dude, that Freddy Krueger M Street dude, right? At that point in time, him and Mo3 was cool. Hanging out and everything. Having a good old time, right? Doing music together. One could say they were somewhat friends. And now you mean to tell me after that dude just tried to kill me, you grab six people from the DFW to do a song with, and you put him up there and not me? You put everybody else up there and not me. I'm getting more views than all y'all fools. Well, besides Yellow Beezy, right? Back in 2017, Yellow Beezy was hot. But you mean to tell me, you supposed to be putting the hottest six rappers from the DFW area on one song together 
and leave me out? Okay, that part is cool. But the part that got Mo3 mad, you left me out and put the, the dude that tried to kill me on the song, fam. Started hanging out with him a little more. You know, that just looked a little funny to Mo3. So he detached himself from Yalla Beezy homeboy dude. Then one day in Oak Cliff, at Mo3 daddy shop, I'm in Oak Cliff at my daddy shop. Mo3 was there with uh, LaDude, HSM LaDude, that's Mo3 cousin. And yeah, LaBeezy homeboy dude come in there and ask uh, Mo3 like, hey, what's going on? We got a problem or something? And try to dap uh, Mo3 up. And Mo3 just looked at him and kept eating his chicken. I ain't dapping you up, fool. Eww, get your hand out my face. And from that day forward, he felt some type of way about Mo3. Because Mo3, quote unquote, embarrassed him in front of all of them people. Didn't, didn't dap him up. And this story was verified by LaDude. So if you don't believe me, just go ask him. He was there. But yeah, you know, that happened. Because at the end of the day, who's going to be hanging around somebody who hangs around another person who tried to kill them? Like, that's just stupid, right? So I 100% understand why Mo3 detached himself from that situation. And this is not me talking from a Mo3 fan perspective. This is just like with basic logic. This dude tried to kill me. You putting it, all the hot rappers on one song that's in the DFW area. You don't put me on the song and put him on the song. That's just one of those situations like, yeah, I think I'm gonna fall back. So that's where a lot of the drama started. Again, according to uh, LaDude. Because yeah, LaBeezy homeboy dude, he was the mutual friend between Mo3 and Yalla Beezy. Mo3 and Yalla Beezy, they, they never was like cool. They was cordial, didn't have problems, but hanging out and stuff like that, that was more so Yalla Beezy homeboy dude than Mo3. So after Mo3 fell out with Yalla Beezy homeboy dude, him and Yalla Beezy really didn't have much to talk about. I mean, they already had a small problem back in the day. I think it was dealing with the girls. Yalla Beezy claims that Mo3 was pillow talking. But Mo3 himself, he said that wasn't true. So you can go with whoever you believe. But they had a problem stemming from way back then. But they squashed it. But then the Roy Lee situation happened. And a lot of people say Mo3 was wrong for uh, going to war for Roy Lee because he only knew him for like a year or two. But fam, that ain't got nothing to do with loyalty. If that dude rock with Roy Lee that much within that time span, Hey, that's him. Can't tell nobody how to gauge their friendships, fool. And he felt that was messed up how they did Roy Lee. So that's when everything kicked up a knock. 219, 221. It was going crazy, fool. But after that, honestly, I felt as though uh, Mo3 was quote unquote satisfied, if you want to say that. Hey, y'all kill Roy Lee. That happened to you on the uh, freeway in your G-Wagon. It is what it is. Time to get back to the music. But see, then Bubba died. And that's when it got real, real. That's the I'm the truth Mo3. Out the gym Mo3. Let me find out Mo3. That's all at the bubble. Like Mo3 turned into a madman. Yo, I'll make y'all dress up, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I'm going to keep putting them in suit. Well, that dude was mad as hell. I'm gonna get on one by one and I take a minute. Ain't got no patience, nigga. Boy, y'all better be happy y'all got that dude when y'all got him. He won't want to stop till all of y'all was gone. That dude was like a little Tasmanian devil. Just spinning, 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 boom. He was mad as hell, fool. After that little dude Bubba died. Where that big dude Bubba, y'all get what I'm saying. He was young. And the fact that Mo3, Roy Lee, and Bubba used to hang out together. That even probably made it worse. That was that dude breaking point. But yeah, y'all know the rest, man. They kept going back and forth as much as they want to deny it. Yeah, LaBeezy swear he ain't never diss Mo3. Had hey, that whole mixtape dissing that dude. And a little bit of views y'all was getting. And outside of that mixtape, yeah, LaBeezy also uh, dissed Mo3 in some of his solo songs. You don't believe me? Here's a screenshot of Mo3 giving you a list of Every song Yellow Beezy dissed him in. I told y'all I got everything, man. 
that's why I be laughing when they be over there lying. Like, you know I got the proof, right? That's on me. Back at it again. Restroom occupied. And headlock. Mo3 said Yellow Beezy dissed him in all four of them songs. And if you're confused by uh, Restroom Occupied, because that is an R&B song with Chris Brown, I know you like, how in the hell did he diss him on that? But as I stated earlier, him and Mo3 beef kind of originally stemmed from a girl situation. So uh, take that for what it is. Go listen to the song, and it'll all start making sense to you. But yeah, don't let this dude keep lying to y'all. He was dissing Mo3. The only problem is no one really cared. Charleston White all on the interview. Yeah, Mo3 jealous. Not knowing. No. Mo3 is responding. They're going back and forth, folks. Mo3 was just much more direct. And his songs hit harder. So it seems like he's the only one dissing them. But nah, go look into those lyrics. It, them dudes for sure been dissing the hell out of Mo3. I'm talking about when he was living too. What else did this guy say? Uh, now this, he was actually being truthful about. He was trying to be funny. But he was being truthful. Back in the day, him and Mo3, some more people, they was in the strip club. This was before Mo3 was popping like that. Yeah, Beezy gave Mo3 uh, $500 to throw in the club. Now, again, this is way back before they had any problems at all. And in this interview, Yellow Beezy also said uh, he can call his baby mom right now and she can verify that uh, he gave Mo3 $500 to throw in the club. And you know what? I believe him. I know that might blow y'all mind right there, but I do not think Yellow Beezy is lying. Now, the reason I don't think Yellow BZ is lying, <laughs> now that's a little interesting, right? Because y'all know I got everything. Well, I got proof of everything, fool. So he think he breaking some news right now. I gave Mo3 $500 in the club. You can ask my baby mama. Mm-hmm. Boy, I been knew that. Well, I knew that since 2018, fool. Been had it screenshot. You want to know where I got it from? Listen to what you just said. You can ask my baby mama. Mm-hmm. Now get mad. Yo, baby mama, fool. She was talking a little too much underneath one of Mo3 posts, Instagram posts back in the day, right? I say this is right around the time your G-Wagon got hit up. And she and she wrote like three paragraphs. Boy, she was mad as hell at Mo3. And I got the screenshots. Just let me know if you think I'm lying. I'll be, I, boy, I would be more than happy to show the world. But yeah, she was like, you just hating on Yellow Beezy. You hating on my man. He ain't do nothing but try to help you. He was giving you money to throw in the strip club. Mm-hmm. You see how everything start to tie together, fool? So yeah, Yellow Beezy ain't lying about that. Because she been said this way back then. But you want to know what else she said? Because you can't tell us to ask her about that. But not want us to ask her about this, too. Because in that Say Cheese interview, you swear up and down Mo3 ain't shoot your G-Wagon. Oh, nah, I know for sure it won't him. I know a lot of people be lying. It won't no Mo3. And that's on me, baby. That's what you say. But according to you, your baby mama, right? She's a very credible source. So if we could go to her to ask about the, the money situation, you giving Mo3 money. We should be able to go to her and ask, did Mo3 really shoot up that G-Wagon, right? Because according to her in the screenshot that I have, at least, that she wrote on Mo3 page, she has surveillance footage and everything. Proof of Mo3 doing it. And she actually threatened uh, Mo3 and said she, she would go to the police with it. Like, again, if I have nothing to lie about, if you think I'm lying, just let me know, and I will post it so so the rest of the world can see, because you know I'm no liar, folks. I'm just not messy, so I never posted this screenshot. But if you want to keep lying like that, I could post it, because y'all be trying to make that dude look crazy now that he's dead and can't speak for himself. Oh, yeah, no Mo3 ain't do that. He was just talking. But again, you just told us 
Your baby mom was a credible source. Hey, ask my baby mom. I was giving Mo three money. And in this same screenshot that I have of your baby mom telling Mo three that you was giving him money in the strip club, again, she also says she has actual footage of that G-Wagon incident and she's gonna go to the police and tell on Mo three. So where do we go from here? Like y'all keep lying on the dude trying to erase history. Same thing with your homeboy. No Mo three ain't really do that. But I have a video of him out of his own mouth saying how Mo three really did it. So again, y'all stop letting this dude tell these stories to y'all, man. Now I get it. He don't suppose it like Mo three. Clown him all you want to, man. Ah ha, you dig. You had a big head, ah ha. Do all that. By all means, right? But please just stop lying. I'm tired of proving you wrong, fool. You know what? One day next week, well, this week, I'm going to sit down and watch that whole Say Cheese interview and just write down every single lie. Well, I'll probably come back and make an hour-long video. You must be stopped, man. This don't make no sense. And then you got Charleston White over there. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Won't this dude just Team O3? But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram, tzfbaby252. Man, this might be the longest video I made in a while. Yeah, LaBeezy, you done made me mad, fool. You done made me so mad I made a 17-minute video. I ain't even realized I was talking that long. Over there got my goat looking like a struggling rapper. Take Lil Wayne off that song. Unhand my goat, fool. Take him off that song. And stop lying, man. Y'all trying to make it seem like Mo3 won't get no views and clout chasing. Do you see these numbers this dude was getting in 2020? Look on the screen. Clout chase. That dude just ain't like you. Ain't got nothing to do with no clout. This dude get more views on his regular songs than when he dissed y'all. Long live Mo3. I'm gone. Beat your ass, nigga. Take my belt out, bitch, and make me spray some gas. Pull up with a stick and make that eat flash. I was thinking about buying me a G wag. Tell me get my lick back. Tell me get my lick back. Flip him with a big strap. Don't double back, walk him down. Tell him we ate that. Kill a nigga cousin, but I make him get his lick back. Now everybody want a holiday a demon. Tell you send him to the devil. Oh, yeah, I know I'm the devil. I thought it was smoke like if it was smoke like we would have smoked it out. Home gang. Hey. Bitch, I'm in these streets, fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets, fuck this industry. Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets, fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets, fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Aye.